Hi, today I'm going to go over resolution in Photoshop files and also file formats and how raster images differ from vector um, illustrations. Uh, I have Photoshop open here and have a couple different photos and I just want to show you a sampling of photos from iStock Photo to kind of give you an idea of different file sizes and um, how it affects the way it's displayed. Now if you notice up here on iStock at the top where it says 66.7% that means it's at that zoom level. I can press control plus or command plus on the Mac and I get it at 100%. Okay so this is the 100% size of the file on the screen. So if you're putting that on a web page or some screen media it would look like that. Now if you go to view and print size, you notice it's a lot smaller. Say if you were placing it in InDesign, it's going to look, I think that was about 24% um, difference. If you go to image and then image size, you'll see that this is at 300 pixels per inch, which is the standard uh, minimum for when you're wanting to send something to print don't have to have it that high for just screen media. Uh, a lot of people say 72 but really I mean uh, 300 you definitely don't need it that large for just say a website unless you want a really high resolution copy on there. Um, but you'll see up here under pixels 849 and 645 um, you'll see the inches 2.83 and 1.8 that's why it's so small on the print because the, there's not that many pixels. Um, now if I added some, let's say I just made this 2000, turned it from a 1.37 megabit file to 7.62. I'm going to hit OK and you notice right away it pixelates. So you don't want to create a file, uh, a raster file, a photo, pixel based, and then make it larger. Because what's going to happen, I'll zoom in here and you'll see that raster images in Photoshop, photos are basically made of pixels. Okay, so as you make them larger, if you stretch it out, it's going to start to blur and pixelate. Okay, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to start out at, if you go to image, then image size, start out at a lower resolution, make it larger, make a larger width or height. You can make it smaller because Photoshop does a pretty good uh, job of compressing images like that and making them smaller. But making them larger, you usually don't want to do. I mean, sometimes you can get away with it a little bit, making it slightly larger, but um, on detailed photos like that, it doesn't usually work. So I'm going to close that out. Now this next one you notice, we're looking at it at 12.5% zoom. So if I zoom in here and go to, say, 100%, this is a pretty large file, okay? So let me zoom out here a little bit at 25% also another iStock photo. If I go to image, image size, you notice the difference. Both of those photos that we covered have 300 pixels per inch PPI, but this one has 2,800 already for the width and 4,200 for the height. Therefore, you notice the width 9 inches over 9 inches and the height is over four, is, uh, 14 inches exactly. And notice the larger file too, 33.6 megabit. So you probably wouldn't want to Im try to embed that on a web page or some downloadable screen media because it would take a while, even with broadband, it would take, uh, you know, at least a couple seconds on a very fast connection, but it's not going to load up very quickly like you're used to on a web page. So if you go to view print size here, you'll notice it gets a little bit smaller there. It goes to 24%, so it's not 100% but it previews it so that's the size that it will print out if you're printing it. Okay, But on the screen you go to actual pixels it's a lot larger. So you can of course resize it, image resize, canvas you can change as well but that's not going to resize the image, it'll just resize the working area. So that's another example of a raster image, it's actually quite large. Now this one, we're looking at it at 16.7%. Let me zoom in here to 100%. Okay, so that's the actual pixels. Now if I go to image, image size, 
you'll notice this actually has 72 pixels per inch. Pretty big file though because 2,508 pixels by 2,924 and um, it's saying 34 by 40 inches on the document size, 21 megabit. So if you go to print size, it's actually at 100% there. Now I open up these two because I want to show you the difference between raster images and vector illustrations. Now I have uh, Adobe Illustrator up. Now that I'm in Adobe Illustrator, let me show you an example. This is just an uh, illustration I created based on a photo of a street scene, okay? So you just have some light poles and whatnot. And if I zoom in, you don't lose resolution because this is vector art illustrations are points, anchor points and paths that connect them. It's mathematical formulas, it's not pixels in the same way that a photo or a raster images pixels. Okay, We still see pixels on the screen obviously, but as I zoom in you'll see it doesn't lose, it doesn't start to pixelate with that kind of blocky look. Same thing would happen if I'd uh, selected it all and made it larger, it wouldn't pixelate either. And this one here, I actually have a raster image in the back that I placed a trace over, but if you notice here as well, Okay, kind of like a self-portrait. We uh, have different shapes. And as I zoom in, there is no pixelation. Now you see that there, that there is pixelation there, but that's the background image that I placed. I just went to File Place and placed a photo in there. So I could delete that. on It's on its own layer. Um, but the actual vector art there does not pixelate. Now I place those, you can go to File Place um, in Photoshop and place the illustration in there, but once it's in Photoshop, if you place it as pixels, you'll notice right now it's already pixelating as I zoom in. We're at 600%, 700%, so see the pixelation? It loses that kind of detail on the edge. Same thing here, let's zoom in and let show you what I mean. Okay. That's because it's a raster image. We may be thinking, why would you make anything raster if it's going to pixelate? Well, you can't really embed, say, an illustration file on a web page or on a lot of screen media. You can offer it for download, but it needs to be pixel-based, a raster image, in order to embed it on a web page, for example. Which brings us to file formats. Adobe Illustrator, of course, if you go to File Save As, you can save it as an EPS file, you can save it as a default Illustrator file and AI file. Now in Photoshop you have a bunch of different options here. If you go to File Save As and we have PNG but Photoshop PSD would not compress it at all. It's a larger file. That's kind of the default one. BMP doesn't have any compression either. It is a larger file though. Now uh, GIF from CompuServe a while ago uh, you can have transparency in that just like with PNG but I've found that those are, it's better to use that when you say you're doing a logo or something with kind of blocky text because JPEGs sometimes have a little bit of artifacting, almost looks like pixelation but it's called artifacting on the edges. But when you have a photo, probably don't go with the GIF, the uh, GIF there, I would say go with a JPEG. So if you go to, JPEG's probably one of the most commonly used ones on the web and screen media. You can save it, just um, Dot .jpg and it is a compression technology and a lot of people don't know this but when you save your photos that you take with your camera put them on your computer open them up in Photoshop and open it up and it's a JPEG and then you close it again open it up another time eventually you will lose image quality because the pixels it's a compression technology so the pixels that are adjacent to each other will eventually be they're so close in color that they'll just not differentiate, so you'll lose a little bit of that delineation and that image quality there. But that's different from when on a web page you're just downloading a copy of it as part of the web page that you're looking at on the browser. So it still has the original one on there. So that's the basics of uh, resolution as far as in Photoshop and file formats. Um, just remember PPI is pixels per inch. That's different from dots per inch when you're printing. So PPI, um, you don't have to have it as high as 300 when you're uh, designing for the screen, 
there's different um, formats for different e-readers and different um, you know personal computing devices and it really depends on that but as far as websites a lot of people point to 72 ppi um, but as long as you have something that loads quickly um, it should be good okay thank you